So welcome to this course on computer organization and architecture. If you take the computer science and engineering curriculum, the undergraduate curriculum, there are three important core courses which uh, are mandatory for any computer science and engineering graduate to have fully understood. One of the courses is the uh, computer organization and architecture. The other courses are the operating system and compilers. Now, what we do in this course is to first distinguish between what we mean by computer organization and what we mean by computer architecture. Computer architecture is the basic digital hardware that we built. The computer organization basically talks of the interface this hardware gives to the operating system and compilers. The operating system and the compilers which are basically driven by customer demands or the user demands want certain facilities. For example, a programming language needs to support pointers. An operating system need to do something called garbage collection. A compiler actually want to do a position independent compilation. Now, for doing all these things, there is some support which the operating system and the compiler would require from the hardware. So, what are these things that are demanded by the compiler and the operating system and how can they actually use the hardware to get these things done? Basically, study of that interface becomes the subject matter of computer organization. Now, this interface typically we call it as application binary interface allows the compiler and the operating system to get certain functionalities done out of the hardware, get some support from the hardware. Now, how are these functionalities actually implemented in the hardware that forms the subject matter of computer architecture. So, we will deal both with the computer organization and the architecture part. Importantly, organization is like swimming. So, there is you cannot just take a theory class on swimming and you know produce a Olympic medal winner swimmer, right. So, we actually have to throw you in the pond and you have to start learning swimming there. So, computer organization, education of computer organization is like uh, learning swimming. So, we tend to have more labs lab oriented classes where we teach the computer organization aspects while the computer architecture we basically cover with more theory. So, this course would be for around uh, 45 to 50 lectures and we will cover as much as possible and take you to as deep as possible both in the area of computer organization and also in the area of computer architecture. I hope you will enjoy this and uh, I also want to say that some of the contents of this uh, course especially the computer organization part has been already covered in a MOOC course which is information security 2 uh, which is hardware aid for information security. I also suggest that you take that as a reading material as an advanced reading material which can be a good complement to this course. Thank you very much.